Hello folks, I'm standing here in Big Cottonwood Canyon in Utah and we are right under the Brighton Ski Resort and we've got a mountain right up here um, and I'm gonna fly to it doing some narrated FPV. Over here we've got the Sport Quad. It's running RC Manchild 400 kV motors, 14 inch props, a 6 cell 3000 milliamp hour LiPo, the GoPro in the front with a stabilized gimbal, the Mobius up on this isolated frame arm, and it's the Sport Quad V3.1 frame with Dragon Link for control, and I've got a GPS with failsafe set up, so if something happens, it'll return back to me. 2.4 gigahertz video. Now this first flight went really well and all, except for the fact that I forgot to point the microphone on the camera towards myself, so you really can't hear anything I say. So I'll just be skipping through the flight and picking out all the highlights. In this video, there are three FPV flights and the second two have narrated audio, but not this one. Sorry about that. Just realized my microphone was pointing in the wrong direction that entire time. A plus for Daniel, so I'm not even sure if that audio will work. Anyways, I am descending now. It is time to come home. This quadcopter descends really well because the props are so big. Basically just glides. Well, that went very well, except for the fact that the microphone was not even pointed at me, so my bad. So this time I'm flying from the edge of a road and I will be flying right up there. I believe that peak is called Scott's Peak. I could be wrong though. Um, but right there, there's like a weather communication station. I'm not sure, but anyways, I'm flying from here. So from here to there, it is and an elevation gain of and the elevation of that peak is so let's get started and we are off so I'm passing over a canyon 
before I get to the other side of the hill. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look down in the canyon. Wow, it looks like a canyon. I really like aspen trees, and there's a lot of them over here. So I'm going to come up on these groves of aspen trees and then kind of like fly through them. But I can't get too low right here because I might... I'm starting to get some interference right now. I'm kind of going below the tree line, so I'm losing line of sight. But if I stay up from here, I should be fine. I wish I could tilt the gimbal upward. That would be good. I was flying my behemoth wing a little while ago, like 10 minutes ago and it was pretty windy up high and like by the mountaintops and you can't notice wind as much in with a oh i don't want to go over by that thing because i think there might be some strong radio signals coming off um anyways it's kind of a little bit more hard or a little bit harder to notice wind when you're in a or when you're flying a quadcopter or multi-rotor because there's less surface area to get tossed around. But I'm hoping it's pretty calm up there. I was up there yesterday riding bikes. Oh yeah, I'm getting a little bouncy. Anyways, I was up there yesterday riding bikes and it was pretty calm, so. Here is Scott's Peak. Quite high. Woohoo! Maybe that's not Scott's. I don't know. I actually don't think that is Scott's Peak. Let me check out this weather station thing. Probably a communications station. And a weather station. Not sure exactly. But regardless of what it is, it's pretty high up. It's a lot of a lot of mountains. So that right there, straight ahead is Solitude Ski Resort. This right over here where I was flying earlier is Brighton Ski Resort. And below us are aspen trees. And they're neat because of the way they are. Very bonita, muy bonita. So I'm going to take a quick gander. I am going to go check out a cool looking tree. So this road you see that I'm approaching is called the Wasatch Crest Trail. It's most of it is single track, not double track like that, but there's the tree. Anyways, the Wasatch Crest Trail is a trail that you can bike on and stuff. Um and it's pretty fun. I rode it yesterday. It's a long ride. So we'll just summit this peak one more time. It's pretty turbulent up here, but that's okay. It's a little stick up there, it looks like. And cool. So now I'm gonna come down this side. Check out this station one more time. That's pretty neat. Now I'm going to descend. Alright, 
Cool, now I'm gonna wake, make the car. Now I'm gonna make my way home. Wherever that might be. I'm not using an OSD, so I just have to pay close attention to landmarks, stuff like that. But I think I know where I launched from. I hear a helicopter, that's a good sign. I see a helicopter, that's a good sign. I'll just come give you a look at what this road looks like from over here. I'm flying behind my patch antenna, which is not good, but... Oh well. I guess. Still have good video. Bring it home. Another successful flight in the bag with the Sport Quad V 3.1. Just made that up right now. So I'm about to take off for another flight and this time I'll just be flying through some trees over that way. It's not that great, just a lot of, a lot of trees basically. Away! Alright, so there's some power lines down there, believe it or not. So I'm gonna have to steer clear of those, that's for sure. trying to keep track of where the power lines are. I think I'm good if I go over here. Won't be getting in any tangly situations. So I'm planning on just flying through this little nice meadow over here. Probably gonna get some bad video signals because I'm behind trees, but oh well. like up oh, some thick trees over here kind of lost my meadow I thought I saw a meadow that went up pretty high but oh, maybe here it is starting again oh geez got bad video right there right as I was about to fly in between two trees so quickly Aborted. Oh, there's a tree. <laughs> oh, there's some power lines going up. That's surprising. Glad I wasn't going low right there. I come check out what's what's going on over here. Oh wow! If I'm not mistaken, that is a lake. It's definitely a lake with what looks like docks and even a house. Maybe it's like a camp, a Boy Scout camp or something. Huh, well that's interesting. Now I just realized that the road I'm flying from looks kind of the same all across. So I'm gonna have to be careful in flying back to the right spot and get away from this camp. Go back over to the trees here. There's what looks like a telephone pole. It could be a dead tree, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna cruise back down to this meadow.
There's some trees, not much to say, really. Some boring narrated FPV. So, here we are back at the power lines. Um, yeah, I really need to figure out exactly where I am. I think. Oh well, I'll fly up this meadow one more time, then I'll worry about that. Getting low. I feel like I already went up this way. So yeah, I'm recording the video from the ground, the FPV signal, so that in the case I hit a tree, I can watch that, and that might help me figure out which tree I hit, and where, instead of just walking around all day. You may be able to hear, but it's getting more breezy. Cool, well that was quite nice, here's another little meadow. Come down right through here. Soaring right along. All right, this is right where I came up because I remembered that pole. All right, now I gotta find where I'm from. So, there's a road up here. I hear a car that's about to pass me, so maybe if I see a car, I can find myself. I see no cars, but I hear cars. That is for sure. Oh, I think I might be way over here. And it's pretty bumpy up there. Yeah, okay. I see where I am now. I think, is that me? Yep, that is definitely me. I thought I was over where the camera's looking more, but I'm right over myself, so. Cool. guy. He's actually going too fast. I hear a big plane. Some twin engine thing flying really high above. Alright, well, I'm going to bring it in. Bring it in hot. That was snappy. Just for the hell of it, I'll play in the trees here for a sec. Oh, I almost fell over. Kind of fun to chase him for a sec. Videos, my antenna's not pointed over there, so I best not go too far. All right, time to land. So many bugs, so many bugs. They're all up in my business. So that's the last flight today. Here with the Sport Quad V 3.1, it did real well. Signing off, this is Daniel, bye.